Previously on X-Men. What's going on, Gem and Knights? It's your boy, Gem Mint. You already know what time it is, man. We got a statue in the Gem Pyre. This is the custom quarter-scale Jubilee statue. Can't wait to crack this thing open. Uh, show you guys the pieces. Put it together. We'll talk about Jubilee. We'll do a review. So stay tuned uh, and check it out. <laughs> You can see it's got a big art box with the X logo on top, like a big shoe box, man. Uh, also came with these plastic uh, corner pieces, which I've never seen on a statue box, so that was pretty cool. So as you can see, when you take off the lid, we're provided with some art prints of Jubilee, two of them to be exact. Cool, man. And then you can see, um, you get your styrofoam box with straps. First layer. All right, so you can start to see Jubilee. So you got a piece here. What's going on right here? Are you gonna take this out or not? Let's just break it. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, I don't know if I broke it or if it just needs to be glued back on though. Let me see this. So this is a piece that's supposed to be a stop sign. It looks like it broke already. Let me see. There's no mutant thing. I'm going to have to glue this together. All right, let's try not to break anything else. Like pieces of her jacket on the bottom there. I really don't want to break this. All right, so take a look at the portraits here. Here's the first portrait blowing the bubble gum. Looks really good. Little magnet. Comes with three portraits. Regular face. Here's the last portrait with her classic glasses. All right. What else do we got here? I think we need to take this layer off as well. All right, looks like we managed to get her out in one piece. She got bracelets, got this big trench coat thing. Cool. 
cool. We'll take a look at it in a bit. All right, now we got this huge base. All right, man. As you can see, that's kind of the new style with these customs, right? They uh, have these layered uh, packaging. But, man, this base is humongous, man. I like this piece right away because a lot of X-Men have Sentinel bases, and they typically do a hand, sometimes a head. This one was a Sentinel foot. So even though it's just like a big boot, it's a different part of the Sentinel, which is cool. Let's see here. As you can see the bottom, commissioned by my man Irving, a.k.a. Sneaky Man, sculpted by G. Risco. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to my man Anthony Forbes, X-Men Exclusives, who helped uh, with the color schemes on this, man. All right, so let's get Jubilee in this base, and I'm going to glue this sign together. Hold that down for a little minute. You know, it's, it's uh, you know a little break, but it's not like it was a piece of the statue or something. It's just this little sign, something you'll never even notice. It's all good. I think her um, translucent power little thing is in here too, a little power stream. Yeah. Easy, easy. Alright. Let's get Jubilee on this base. All right, guys, there we go. Jubilee, all assembled. All right, guys, cool, man. This piece really pops on camera. Uh, it's got a lot going on, man, with this big, huge foot base, big rock base underneath it. 
You got your sign, no mutant sign going. Jubilee flexing her powers. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, real quick before we get on to the view uh, review, uh, let's talk about Jubilee. Jubilee, uh, her real name is Jubilation Lee. She first appeared in Uncanny X Men two forty four. She was created by Chris Claremont and Mark Silvestri in 1989. Obviously, she was more known for her role in the X-Men animated series as kind of the relatable kid, teenager character. But it's kind of funny, man, because she ended up rolling with the big dogs. Storm, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, uh, Gambit, Wolverine. And she became a household name through that cartoon. Although she didn't really have that many big arcs in the comics. I know she had this one vampire arc, but uh, I, I never read that, to be honest. Alright, so, um, like I said, shout out to Sneaky Man for this uh, project. This was a very low edition run, uh, 25 pieces. I think this was like number 23 or so. And um, it's really nice to have customs that can help round out your collection. Like if you have a themed collection of all X-Men or all Spider-Man... And this is a character that the big companies probably wouldn't do uh, with a matching base. Because it's like a collector making for a collector, you know? Now you have this Sentinel foot base that's going to go with all these Sentinel hand pieces that we have. So let's take a look at the actual statue and look at the sculpt, right? So you have Jubilee. Uh, she's uh, in a dynamic pose. She's showing her power set. She's showing her personality in her face with her different portraits. Uh, with her glasses, with her blowing a bubble from some bubble gum. She's got her trademark uh, April O'Neil jacket going on. And she's battling, a, a, or what was a Sentinel. And he's got his foot here with a ton of damage on it. Uh, it's a huge base, man. I really like the translucent resin that shows off her powers. Her powers are kind of hard to explain to begin with. What is it, like fireworks that she shoots out? And she messes with electronics. Uh, she causes an interference. I really like the bubblegum portrait. That's probably the one that I would rock or the one with the shades down. Let's take a look at that. I really like the soft um, paint on the face for the skin tone. It, it looks good. It really compliments her as like this young female. Yeah, that looks cool too, man. You know, her costume is cool. She's got texture on the um, on the t-shirt to kind of uh, differentiate it from the shorts. With she's got her little X-Men belt buckle, her blue boots. You know, it was pretty smart how they decided to include these removable bracelets that hides the gap on the wrist, and they have it on the other wrist too, which is um, permanently fixed in there like that. And I think that's a really good idea to hide that. The Sentinel base looks good. Uh, it's got a nice uh, metallic blue, although it's riddled with battle damage. Um, everywhere you can see, it looks like Wolverine's been in encounter with it. It's got the inner workings uh, on the top, equipped with real posable wires that have the little wires coming out of them. The only thing about this base, it is huge, man. I don't think this is going to fit in a Besta. Let's take some measurements on this thing here. So lengthwise, you're looking at... Looking at about 23 inches lengthwise. And the width... You're looking at like 20 inches wide. So I think if it was going to be in the bottom of a Besta, it'll probably be poking out in the front. But I could put it in the bottom of, of the PAX unit, it's no problem. I don't really know that they needed to include all this extra rock on the side. Maybe it should have been taken back in a little bit or just been the boot. I don't I don't know that it really needed that. Or maybe Sneaky Man just said, I want a big ass base, so I don't care what you want. <laughs> it's all good though, man. Uh, the cape, Fabric, um, I don't know if it's the same material that Moon Knight was. It's definitely a lighter weight, but I don't know how they did that while being attached to her still, man. It's pretty crazy how they did that. Uh, 
Let's see what the height is of this thing. It looks like her head is the highest point. It's about 22 inches tall. The foot looks more to scale with the uh, XM Studios Magneto on Throne hand. Maybe I'll bring Magneto on Throne down and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I know that we've already seen pictures of it side-by-side -side with Wolverine from uh, the new Sideshow Premium format. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So here's how she stacks up next to the XM Studios Magneto on Throne. And I think this is what Irving was going for. I think he wanted to scale this foot to go more towards uh, the hand on this statue. Because those look more in scale than, let's say, the Wolverine Premium format. Seems like a similar kind of blue, metallic-y. Just a similar look altogether. Man, these pieces look really nice next to each other. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna set up this display. So now that we've seen her with Magneto on Throne, let's see how she looks next to her boy, Sideshow Premium Format Wolverine. All right, so she does look really good with Wolverine. The only thing is that the Wolverine Sentinel hand is much smaller. But, you know, this could be Mega Mold or whatever he is, and this could be a regular Sentinel or a smaller Sentinel. To me, a Sentinel could be any size. So, they look good as far as the costumes and the dynamic poses and the team-up aspect. Keep in mind that uh, this Lazy Susan is lower than this one. But I think they look really good together, actually. So just a little comparison, guys. All right, guys. So that's the review on the custom quarter-scale Jubilee statue by uh, Sneaky Man. And, um, you know, I'm glad to have it in the collection. It's going to add to the X-Men wall. We're going to try to get that wall looking like the Spider-Man wall here soon. So this is just another step toward it. Uh, hit me a like on the way out. Drop me a comment below. What do you think about Jubilee? How do you like the piece? It's a big piece, man. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more statue unboxing and reviews, uh, along with other daily content like recent reads, on the bus halls, weekly comic book polls and reviews, uh, live shows, and more. And y'all stay minty. Peace.